Hey, welcome to section two. In this section, we will be going over a basic app description, the APIs we will be using. As well, we will take a quick look at videos two through six. In videos two, we will be setting up an AR kit scene kit view, configuring an AR SCN view session. As well, through videos three through six, we will be making an actual scene where we set up our device for AR usage and have actual 3D cubes on screen. In this section, we will be building our first AR app ever. Most of you watching this, I believe it's your first AR app ever. We will be building a simple app where we will place cubes on screen with the tap of our fingers. As well, with another tap of our fingers, we will be able to remove said cubes. What APIs we will be using? AR Kit, obviously. As well, we will be utilizing UI gesture recognizers. We will start by creating a new project. So head to File, Project, select Single View Application, Next. Let's call our app My First AR. For the organization name, feel free to give it any organization you like. Typically, it's reverse DNS, but for the sake of uh, simplicity, let's just give com dot whatever our first name is. So mine will be com dot field. Organization identifier, somewhat irrelevant. So let's just call it my identifier. Before you hit next, please be sure to uncheck use core data, include unit tests, and include UI tests. Hit next. Let's create. Let's hit create. Our provisioning file looks like it's all set up. In case it isn't, simply hit the drop down in the team section, head to, I believe, our name. So in this case, it would be Felix Changu, my first and last name, aka personal team. Head to that. Likewise, on your set, on your end, it'll be your first and last name and in quotes, personal team. So head to that. Now let's go to the navigation panel, look for the view controller, and let's just take a look and see if everything has been set up. And it is. That's a main storyboard, also in the navigation panel. We will start by typing AR. And in the bottom right, we will drag an AR kit scene view kit into view in the view controller. Now we're going to set up some constraints. So in the bottom right of your screen, look for an icon that says add new constraints, the alt text. So we hit that. Let's make that zero, 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 zero. Uncheck constraint to margins, add four constraints. And we have our AR SCN view set up nicely with our constraints. Let's head back to view controller. Now we're going to get rid of this function called did receive memory warning. It's irrelevant for our course. Let's also delete these two lines as they are also irrelevant. Now in view will appear. So we will type in override view will appear. We call the super super class method view will appear pass in animated. Now forgot to do one thing. We need to import AR kit. So let's go back. So let's make our config constant. Let config equals AR world track and config ration. And let's head back to main storyboard. Now we're going to use our assistant editor. So in the top right of our screen, hit the icon. It has the two rings within it. For the alt text, you should see show assistant editor. So as you guys can see right here, we'll hit that. By default, it should get our view controller on the right hand side. And let's hide the left hand side, the navigation panel, as well as the right hand side, so we can maximize our view. Hit control. So head back to our AR SCN view, hit control, drag. And we are going to drag to our view controller. Let's call this scene view. Now, 
In the event this doesn't show up immediately, our view controller script doesn't show up on the right hand side. All we would need to do is head to where it says automatic, scroll to manual, my first AR, my first AR again, and click view controller. So let's close this, head back to our navigation panel, and let's also get our right hand side, head back to view controller. And now that we have our scene view reference, let us use it. So scene view dot session dot run, and we will pass it our config instance. Now, what we've essentially done is we've created an AR world tracking config instance and stored it in a constant called config. Then we took that constant and we passed it in the run method of the scene view session property. What this will allow is basically create again, creating a config that we will be running for world tracking. So in case you're wondering what world tracking even is, Apple defines it as quote unquote, world tracking provides six degrees of freedom tracking of the device. Well, I'm not going to divulge the entire definition. You can easily look this up on Apple's website. However, for the sake of simplicity, just know this, world tracking will allow you to keep track of everything from the device orientation, position, and real surfaces as seen through our camera. Now, let's head back to our view controller. We will type view will disappear. So again, let's scroll down, call the superclass method, view will disappear, pass an animated, head down, and scene view dot session dot pause and what this does is essentially tells our program or app that our ar session needs to stop checking the motion and processing image of the views content